Hi, hi everyone, it's Hilman from Serp API. In the previous video, we look at how to scrape a list of places from Yelp and also the individual places. Now, let's see how to scrape the reviews places from this data. Let's take a look. We will use Yelp Reviews API by Serp API. The only required parameter for this is the place ID. You can get this value by using our Yelp Search API. In the response, you'll be able to see two type of place IDs. First one is the gibberish one, and the second one is the prettified slug. We can only use the first type of the place ID, so make sure to use this ID rather than the second one. So again, if you need the place ID, you can use our Yelp search API and get the results from the organic result response for each places. And then you can put the value as the place ID here. Let's move to the text editor. I've prepared the basic code here to perform a search to SERP API using the request package. Make sure you've installed this package and also export your SERP API API key. And now we are ready to perform a GET request to the SERP API endpoint. We just need to tweak the parameter here based on our needs. In this case, we need the Yelp reviews as the engine. And also we need to provide a place ID. You can use any place ID you want to scrape the reviews for. In this case, I'm using the this default example from the documentation. Now let's run the search. And as you can see here, we are able to retrieve the reviews result here under the reviews response. We can get the user data, the comment, and other meta information here. You can loop and do whatever you want with each of the reviews. You can also use the sort by method to sort the results based on one of the value here. If you want to, for example, filter the search from the oldest one or from the newest one, it's possible using this parameter. And you can also filter out the results by the rating number. So you can put rating and the value from one to five stars in the parameter. Let's try these filters. First, we will add a rating five to only show the reviews with five rating stars and sort by to sort the results. Now let's run this. And now we should only see the reviews with five ratings in it and it should be sorted by the date. As you can see here, and here and so on. So we are able to scrape the first page of the review. Let's learn how to paginate the results. By default, we return 49 results per page or per request. It's also the maximum number of reviews that we can retrieve per search. In order to paginate the results, we can increase the start parameter, which acts as the offset. So for example, for the second page, we will need uh, 49 times two, which is uh, 98 and so on for the third page, fourth page, and so on. To verify the result number, we'll print the length of the response reviews, and we should be able to see the total reviews, which is 49. So I'll replace this whole code and wrap it in a loop. And here is how it looks like. I've prepared two variables, start and total reviews to see at the end how many reviews that we got. Uh, we will increase the start parameter by the num number, which is 49 by default and include the start and num parameter alongside other parameters. We will sum the total reviews before we print it and also see the total reviews for each loop. And don't forget to break this while loop, otherwise it will run infinitely. Now let's just start, let's run the program. And also for reference, this is the place that we currently scrape. It has around 300 reviews or 304 to be exact. If we compare it with our scraper, it has total reviews of 304. So we are able to scrape all the results with this pagination method. That's it. I hope you like it. See you on the next video. Bye.